Hello and welcome back on my channel. Today we will continue the Kingsman from Kingdom Death Monster. In this tutorial I will show you how to paint the golden ornaments of the armor. Our first one to use is Glorious Gold from Vallejo Game Color mixed with Steel Blue from Air Color Range. Cover the golden parts of the armor with this stone on the whole mini. As I don't want to paint on the steel parts you can see I always lay down my figure holding hand on the table and I brace my brush holding hand on the figure holder or on the base. This will reduce the trembling of my hand so I can paint more accurately. After I cover the gold parts with the base stone, I place the first shadows. For this, I use the base stone and add a bit of black to it. I paint this stone where the gold faces to the ground 
or where the other parts of the figure cast shadow on the armor. You can see that my brush strokes are always directed from the lighter parts to the darker ones. As a result, the pigments of the darker tone will gather in the shadowed areas. Next, I diluted some pure steel blue to glaze consistency and used it to strengthen the dark tones. Be careful to use the brush the same way as before, pushing the pigments to the darkest areas. You can also smoothen the transition of the light and the dark parts by glazing over the edges with this color. If the blue is too much on a piece, you can always correct it with the base tone, as I did here under the shoulder pad. To build up the final highlights, I used the tone mixed from Glorious Gold and VGC Silver. To build maximum contrast, I put the highlights next to the dark areas and the peaks of the ornaments. Also try to follow the highlight pattern of the steel to harmonize the lights on your armor. Keep in mind that every detail should have its own highlights, like the gold face, the fingers and the little rivets on the armor.
pay more attention on the crown, as the face of the figure will always get more attention when somebody is looking at it. For the final highlights, we use pure silver, as we did for the steel armor. Use this only at the most shiny parts of the armor, just like in the last episode. Now, you can step here, but I recommend a few more optional steps. First, base the darkest recesses with black to achieve maximum contrast on the model. If the black is too much somewhere, you can correct the mistake with the previous tones. After the black you can apply an armor brown base here and there where you want the gold to look a bit warmer.
If you feel necessary, you can always reach back for the previous stones to achieve more contrast. Now we finish the armor of the model. In the next chapter we will continue with the mentor and the rest of the Kingsman class. I would like to thank all of you for watching my videos. If you like the content please give it a thumbs up or feel free to share. If you have any questions put them in the comments below and I will try to answer them. You can also find the link of my Facebook page and Instagram in the description. I would like to say special thanks for Vallejo Acrylics for the generous support they provided me. May the brush be with you.